I upgraded my steering column uh, about a year ago and recently upgraded my steering wheel to a new PRP uh, race steering wheel with a detachable hub. That has flipped a lot of people out. So today we're going to be going into how to install a detachable hub. And if you need to upgrade your column, which one I recommend. Let's go, Eric's Garage. If you have one of these awesome square body trucks, you will know the complexity and moving pieces in this steering column is not to be underestimated. I worked with this thing for several years as it got looser and looser and ultimately it ended up breaking up around the collar. This is a notorious problem for a lot of older trucks and the square bodies are no exception. Unfortunately, rebuilding the column is significantly expensive. I got quotes for as high as $700 for a rebuilt column. And the reality is, for my application, I really just need a column with turn signals and maybe tilt. So I swapped out my old column for a new I did it column. The emails that I've received from you have expressed, how the heck did you turn your steering wheel? Where's my steering wheel, Ryder? Can you pass me that? It's right behind you. How did you get your steering wheel to have that quick release hub on it? Having a detachable steering wheel has obviously a couple of benefits. First, theft protection. It's obviously going to be difficult to steer a vehicle without the steering wheel. And for someone who's constantly diving under the dash, removing the steering wheel during work around this area does make things easy. But that's not the main reason for getting a detachable steering wheel. The main reason is because it's freaking cool. I mean, come on now. I took my steering wheel off. That's dope. Anyway, this is the I did it column. Ryder, can you get in here and show them this guy? You'll see it's not too different from the factory column. It just doesn't have all the extra stuff on it for all the turn signals. Now you can get it with that should you choose to purchase a column that has all that in it. I didn't need all that. So I don't have anything running through the column, not even a horn at this point. But what this enables me to do is put this collar right there on the I did it wheel that mates up with this guy right here. There is a ball detent inside, there is a locking guide pin, and then this guy is spring released to allow it to slide on and off. There's not really that much to it. The things you've got to consider is GM's mostly came with a three bolt steering wheel. That is the one that's everyone's used to seeing and to go to an aftermarket steering wheel, they're most likely six bolts now. Not a problem. You need to convert your steering column from a three bolt to a six bolt. There's often a kit that you can use that will do that. And I was lucky that the I did it column had a kit that converted from a, six, a three to a six and provided the sleeve at the same time. Easy. Install took five minutes. And now my steering wheel is detachable. The I did it column that I ended up going with it is a GM. OEM fit, this right here, this is the sleeve. It is threaded on to the column itself. So this isn't part of the column. This is merely bolted onto the column. Underneath will be a spline count that will be specific to this column. And you just match the spline count of the column to the spline count of the adapter and you're good to go. So this one in particular, I'll put the part numbers down below and uh, let me show you the factory column so you can see the differences between the quick release collar and the splines underneath. My factory column put in hard work for many years, but as you can see, it eventually gave up the ghost. It had been slowly dying for a while. There was a lot of slop and play in here. The tilt didn't work that well and none of the turn signals or anything else worked anymore. So I swapped this out for the I did it column that you saw, but you can see the spline count that I'm talking about on there. They will be different, but uh, count your splines, see what you've got, and uh, I'll see what part numbers I can dig up that would enable you to put a new column, or sorry, to put a new steering quick release on your factory column. It is a good option to swap out the column at this time if you have one with significant play in it. I had stripped uh, the shifter, I'd stripped turn signals, I'd stripped everything off here, even the ignition. So there wasn't a whole lot left that I had to keep. 
which made the decision to switch over to the I did it even easier. Your results may vary. Your column may be in a lot better shape than mine, but options are always nice to have. At the end of the day, sometimes it's just the little things and having a nice steering wheel is fantastic. You're just so interactive with the steering wheel that it just lends a whole new feel to the truck. I like the smaller diameter. I've used a couple of Grants in the past and they've been great. I wanted to go up to the Alcantara, which is this synthetic suede material. I've had that on my other car, my BMW, for years. It's synthetic. It holds up really well to use and dirt and grime. It's washable. It looks good. It's got good grip to it. And it makes me feel like I'm in a race truck. So, yeah, that's priceless in itself. If you guys enjoyed this video showcasing the new steering wheel, well, you're going to love what I got coming up. I am knees deep in a couple of big projects on both the Burb and the Blazer. The Blazer got a new roof. Uh, the roll cage got all tied in. I've still got to bring you that video showing you how I did everything. I also took a trick up to the Rubicon a few weeks ago, and I've got that footage that I've been slowly putting together to give you guys an epic, like, hour-long video on our trip to the Rubicon. And the Suburban is getting a lot of updates. I'm really excited about what I got to share with you guys in the coming up weeks. In the meantime, click that subscribe button, click that little bell icon so you get notified when I post something. And if you want to see the install video from when I put the I did it column in, I'm going to link that right up here. So you can go ahead and check that out and see when I installed this, how I did it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Merrick's Garage.